Hi everyone, my name is Sanjeev. In this video, I'm going to demo how to call database stored procedure using database connector in Mule application. Database connector supports the use of callback statement. So we can use call stored procedure parameter list signature to call the stored procedure. Parameter could be in parameter or out parameter. In parameter is used to send the value to the stored procedure. Out parameter to retrieve the value from the stored procedure. And in out parameter, we will send the value to the stored procedure. Then later on, once the stored procedure has been executed, we can get the value back from a stored procedure. In this demo, I'm going to create records using a stored procedure and then Using another stored procedure, I will retrieve the records from the database table using cursor out parameter. For demo, I will move to the any point of studio now. In any point of studio, I have already created a mule project sp demo. Inside sp demo, I have three flow. In first flow, I have used HTTP listener. I have give the resource name slash SP. Then I'm using logger component for logging the payload. Then I'm using a stored procedure for callable statement to call the stored procedure. A stored procedure operation is under database component, a stored procedure. And at the end of the flow, I'm converting the payload to the JSON and sending control back to the caller. Let me show you my database and the table. So this is Oracle developer tool. This is my student database. And this is a student master table. It have these many columns, ID, name, stream, school name, class, and admission date. And there is no data right now at present in this table. Let me show you the stored procedure that I'm going to invoke. So this is a stored procedure I have created. This is stored procedure named create student takes these parameter. And then inside the student record in a student master table. Let me show you the database configuration. Here is the database configuration that I have. I'm using localhost. So my Oracle is uh, installed in local. Port is 1521. Username is student. And I'm using service XCP DB1. And I configured the Oracle JDBC driver. So this is a Maven dependency configuration. I'm using OJDBC 11 and I use the local file to configure this uh, Maven dependency. Let me test the database. Test connection is successful. So in a stored procedure, we are using callable statement. And here we can specify the parameter. So these are the parameter. Then I'm setting the value for input parameter. So I'm taking these value from the payload. So I'm going to call this SP resource. I'm going to pass the payload from the postman. So I need to pass ID, name, stream, school name, and class. So let me go to the postman and we will invoke the SP resource. Let me get the data. I have already created the data. 
so i will insert this student record so student id is 120 student name is noel stream is science school name is delhi public school and class is 11 so i'm going to invoke send button before that let's check uh, database once more i will refresh the database there is no record there now i'm going to going back to the postman and click send button okay uh, we haven't started the uh, mule application so i'm going to the anypoint studio and going to start the mule project so mule project is getting deployed it will be deployed in embedded server once it is deployed then we can invoke the resource again and it should create a record in database in a student master table okay mule application has been deployed now i'm going to postman and i'm going to insert this student record in database click send okay there is no error let's go back to the developers tool and i'm going to refresh it so we got one record id 120 name noel stream science delhi public school and class 11 we didn't send admission date so that's what we sent from postman so let me recap in a stored procedure in the query you need to call the stored procedure you need to uh, pass the parameter and then for those parameter you need to pass the values if there is input input parameter then you have to give the input parameter values if there are output parameter then you need to specify output parameters right here and if it is in out parameter then you need to specify in out parameter right here in our case all the parameters are in parameter so i specified input parameter and i use the uh, payload to pass these values you can go back to console you can see the payload that we send it here id name stream school name and class this is our payload and that's what we send from uh, sorry from postman it came to the logger it logged the payload then it came to the stored procedure and we mapped these payload fields to the input parameters and that's what we created the record you can see here now you can see that we didn't created a uh, admission date so to create the date in database using uh, a stored procedure we need to use a little bit of script so let me show you that so for that i have created a second uh, stored a uh, procedure and say uh, and uh, another flow so here i gave the resource name sp dash date logger logs the payload and in stored procedure i am calling create student with admission date and i am passing id name stream school name class and admission date as well so let me show you the stored procedure this is stored procedure create a student with admission date i'm passing all these parameter id name stream school name class and admission date as well and then i'm using insert statement to create the record with the admission date in student master table so here to pass the input parameter and the date first we need to create a format we need to write this uh, dw script output json application slash json then create the format and uh, this is the format that database takes oracle database in this case 
and then I'm mapping the input parameter from payload ID name stream school name class and before map mapping the admission date I'm formatting the date so for formatting I'm using this format function that I have created here this way we won't get any error and that date will be inserted so we cannot use uh, here uh, to date function directly that will give error for that we have create a we need to create a function to format the date and then invoke that function before passing to the uh, as a value to the input parameter okay at the end i am transferring the payload to the json and returning control to the caller so i'm going to invoke this resource sp underscore date from postman i'm going to insert couple of records and i will copy the record the student record i'm going to paste the input request the student id is 125 name chris stream science school name delhi public school class 10 and admission date is april 15 so i'm going to click the send button before clicking the send button let me check the oracle double pass tool we have right now only one record 121 id name noel so i'm going back to postman click send button okay record has been created without any error so i'm going back to the oracle developers tool click refresh so we got here 125 chris science delhi public school and class 10 and that's what we created from the postman so now we are able to uh, create the admission data as well for that we have to pro provide the format and then use the format before passing the value to the input parameter let me create one more record so i'm creating a record for student john id 135 click send in oracle developers tool refresh it we got the john art and we got the admission date 25 april and that's what uh, we have right here let me create one more record uh, without admission date so i will create one more record so we will have four record total so I'm going to call the SP resource. Here I'm not passing any admission date. I'm going to click send and name is David. ID is 130, stream art, school name, Delhi Public School, class 10. So no error. Let's go back to the Oracle Developers tool. We should see ID 130, student name David. So we got 130 David art and there is no admission date so we have four records now i will retrieve these four records using different stored procedure so let me show you the stored procedure first this is a stored procedure that i have created to retrieve the values from the database so here I'm passing input parameter school name. So I will pass the school name. That means I will retrieve the records for particular school and output uh, variable is the output parameter is the sys ref cursor. Using this, I will retrieve all the values. So this is a open cursor statement where I'm selecting the student master table for particular school name so let's go back to the studio let me show you the third uh, 
flow where I'm using this. So here I'm using uh, listener. I'm creating the resource sp dash cursor. I will use this to retrieve the value. And I'm passing query parameter, a school name that I'm putting in a school name variable. And in a stored procedure, I'm using callable statement to get students. This is an input parameter. This is output parameter. Here I'm passing this value using a variable name that I created just here right now. So I'm passing this input parameter as underscore school name that I will pass to this uh, stored procedure. And then for output parameter, I have created output parameter. This is a custom parameter cursor. So for that, we can create here key and then the custom parameter cursor. So this will get all the record retrieved from the database to this out parameter. And then we will show those records in JSON format using this script. So here I'm calling payload.as cursor because here our uh, output parameter is as cursor. So I'm using here payload.as cursor and then I'm using map to get the, all the values. So I'm ma mapping the ID name, stream, school name, class and admission date and I'm formatting the, this using this format function. So let me invoke this now. So I'm going back to the postman. Here I'm passing the school name Delhi Public School and I'm invoking the resource SP cursor because that's what the resource name I gave here SP underscore cursor. So let me go back here. Let me invoke this resource. I'm passing this query parameter click send so we got all the students chris 125 delhi public school stream science admission date 15 april then 120 noel 135 john admission date 25 and then david 130 is a admission id the, the student id and that's what we have in our database in oracle developers tool 125 120 135 130 chris noel john david and that's what we are getting here so let me show you back again how to use as cursor so this is a sql query it's uh, as usual just give the name of the variables this is a input this is output parameter for input parameter pass the value I'm using a query parameter that I'm assigning to variable and passing it here for output parameter I have created as underscore cursor uh, output parameter and that's where uh, I'm assigning this uh, custom type cursor and then in the transform message I'm using that as underscore cursor and I'm using map to get the value as a list and that's what we are getting here this is the list we are getting coming from the map function using as cursor out parameter so this is all in this video I hope you understood how to use callable statement how to call a stored procedure using database connector component in mule application if you like this video please click the like button and subscribe the channel thanks for watching thank you